Hey everyone, so this is the Enterprise E. Um, I'm not completely done with it yet. Just want to show it to all the 3D printers out there who um, who's planning on printing it and show them what I did. Okay, so let's take a look. It's about four feet t four feet in length. Um, the front saucer does separate, so only got one hand, so I'm gonna try to separate it. So it separates, and what's holding it together are magnets. So these are disc magnets. Earth, neodyme, um, let's see, the diameters is about, uh, I'll put the diameters down once I remember it. I can't remember it. But I have these, um, these spots that are print, that are designed into it. And that's where you put the magnets. Obviously, I don't, you don't need to put all the magnets in, but you can if you want to. It'll just hold better. So when you put the magnets in, make sure you um, make sure the polarities are right from this to the other side, or else it'll just push on each other, and it won't attract. So if you understand anything about magnets, and I'm pretty sure you guys do, north attracts to south, opposites attract, and you want to make sure you get it right before you glue it in, or else you're gonna to have to pull it out and do it again okay so I got magnets on this side and that's what holds it so the saucer saucer section itself um, the top of the saucer is sealed by magnets as well with the bottom so let me uh, pull it off and it's got magnets there and it's designed so you can put the magnet in there So um, I put on the Thingiverse site uh, what the size of the magnet is, so it'll be easier. Okay, and that's what holds the top to the bottom. Now, if you wanted just to uh, to um, glue it, and you you don't care about going back in to do lighting and stuff, um, it has. Holes right here for um, skinny sticks. You put skinny sticks here, there, uh, four sections. That way it'll align it right and it'll let the glue set and then you'll be good to go. If you didn't want to work on it. But I designed it this way so you can do, um, you can go, always go back in and, and adjust the lighting. Voila. And then slides right on. There you go. Enterprise E. Who says the Enterprise E doesn't uh, have a, uh, the saucer doesn't, uh, um, what's the word? Doesn't disconnect. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going, I'm having a brain fart. Okay, so let's check. Oops. We're going to check the bottom. See, it's easy to go in here and mess with lighting, electrical. We can go to the bottom of it. The bottom of this, all you need is a screw. Let me unscrew this real quick. So, I designed it where you can just screw this bottom part if you have to go in and um, work in whatever electronics or whatever you need to do. All right, so um, all right, so I have the cover off now, and this is the cover. Goes right in there. It seals by screws. Now this uh, nut here. What you do is you put a super glue on it, and you put it on the inside of here, and you let it set. And once it's set, it'll it'll just be there stuck. Uh, I designed it so it fits this 
uh, particular nut. I think it's a number six. I can't remember. I bought it a long time ago and I still have it in my supply. So but I'm pretty sure it's like a number six. And you just put it on inside, you glue it. And once it's set, you can just put the cover on and use the bolt to tighten it. And you always have access to the inside right here. And plus right here, going up here, so I'm gonna flip it over. Right through here, you can run some wires and it comes up right here. And then from here, I can go aft to north. And in case you want lighting here, there's a hole right here. And of course, there's a hole right here. Um, the first one I printed here, see this one has magnets too right here. It's just so you can easily go here if you have to work on it. It just makes it easier. But it also has holes just in case you don't want to use magnets there. Um, you can just uh, just put the skinny sticks here to align it, glue it, and then you'll be good. But I use magnets just for the future if I want to um, mess with the lighting and stuff. Um, the back part right here, there's a hole where you can put a light right here too. Um, my print right here I kind of messed up because I didn't put magnets here. So I glued it. And it's going to be a little bit harder to uh, work with it if I have to come back to the lighting. But I fixed that. I made it where you can put magnets in it now. Uh, it wasn't here for my print. But for whoever wants to print in the future, uh, you'll have that option. So it'll just be like the front here. you have that option. But obviously I didn't have the option. So sucks for me. Okay, so right here, it you can just slide right off, then you can just slide right in. Just in case you want to show it off like that, the um, the shuttle bay, or you can just cover it up. You don't have you don't have to glue it. It it sits there snug. You just have to adjust it. I'm doing it with one hand, and it's not gonna fall off. Um, some things you will have to do. So, this cover right here, I try using a transparent filament, but it doesn't look right. Um, the two sections here, uh, because it has cuts here and here, um, my printer's not big enough to print the whole thing as a single print, so it looks kind of ugly. My suggestion is you go ahead and print it um, and actually, and then sand it, wood fill it, make it smooth, and then make a, a mold of it and make a clear mold of it and then put it here. I mean, go ahead and do the extra effort and it will look a lot better than what I got here. So... Print this section out, fix it all nice, and make a mold of it. That would be my suggestion. Uh, and of course, you can always put like a little magnet on each end, and then here, here. That way, you can always pull it off and pull it on. So that's another suggestion. Uh, the windows here, it it for the buzzer. I didn't um, I didn't make a 3d part for it and I might put it on online and make one anyway but it's better if you find a clear piece of plastic and just cut a piece that fits right here and then just paint it the color you want it to be that way the light shines out of it and for lighting purposes it's just better that way that's my personal opinion. Uh, the same thing for the nacelles. The nacelles. I mean the impulse. It's I didn't make a. I'll probably all make something where you can print and put it in there, especially for those people who want to just 
not do any lighting, just paint it. But for the people who want to do lighting, it's better to find a clear piece of plastic, cut this shape, and then just put it right there. You know, come on guys, put on your red shirts. I know you guys can do it. Um, same things here. This is like clear here. I didn't make a part for here. Uh, you guys can figure out something to put here that is temporary. I wouldn't glue it or set it in permanent. That way the wires, if you need to like push wires here, you can help it out by pushing more. I mean, it's a pretty good size. The so wires can go through pretty smooth, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Yeah, let me slide this baby back on. Watch it slide. Yep. And that is the Enterprise E. Uh, looks pretty good. Got to paint it. I can go ahead and paint it and and mess with the lighting in the future. Uh, right now, a little short on funding, so I can't do the lighting anytime soon. But in the future, I can go right back to it. But I will be painting it. Alright, thanks for watching.